In this problem, they're asking us to find the positive and negative square roots of each number, which is a fascinating thing about roots, because if you remember, a negative number, like negative 1, times negative 1 gives us positive 1. So that means, equals positive 1, that the square root of 1 could equal 1 or negative 1. Because 1 times 1 gives us 1, and so does negative 1 times negative 1. So this first problem, we could say that the square root of 1 equals 1 or negative 1. A quick way to do that is to write a plus over a minus sign. So it equals positive or negative 1. That's what you're saying right there. And the next one, the square root of 4, or like this, square root of 1, square root of 4 could equal positive or negative 2. Right, because 2 times 2 is 4, and so is negative 2 times negative 2. It's also 4. What about the square root of 2? We'll come back to that one. Square root of 16. Well, the square root of 16 is equal to positive or negative 4. Because, well, 4 times 4 is 16. And so is negative 4 times negative 4. That's also positive 16. Square root of 25 is equal to positive or negative 5. Why? Because, well, 4 times, 5 times 5 is 25, and negative 5 times negative 5 is also 25. Now, what about these last two? Well, the square root of 2 is irrational, so we can just say it equals the square root of 2, or the negative square root of 2. If you think back to, to past videos, take the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, you get 2, right? You're squaring the square root. So the negative square root of 2 times the negative square root of 2 also equals 2. <clears throat> Be careful not to put the negative sign inside the square root. That brings us to imaginary numbers, which are really fun, but not what we're looking for here. So what about the square root of 5? Well, that should equal the positive or negative square root of 5, right? Because the square root of 5 times itself is 5. And the negative square root of 5 times the negative square root of 5 also equals 5. So it could be either one. Anyway, the point is, positive numbers have both positive and negative roots. And often, they'll tell you what we're looking for. They'll say, specify the root as positive or negative. And if they don't, you can provide both. Thanks.